Hi, this is Jeremy Simon with 3D Universe. I wanted to share something with you that I just learned about taking measurements from photos for those of you who are making these uh, 3D printed prosthetic devices. Uh, as many of you know, I work with the Enable volunteer community to do that. And uh, the process involves uh, scaling STL files to the appropriate size based upon the measurements of the person the hand is for. So to do that, you have to take measurements usually from a photo if you don't happen to have the person there uh, physically. And so uh, I just learned, uh, thanks to uh, Mark Petrakowski, uh, also an Enable volunteer, uh, the software and the process that uh, he uses to do this. I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, the tool is called Tracker. It's a free tool that you can get. Uh, the URL is a little uh, hard to communicate, so I'm I'm going to suggest that you just do a Google search for Tracker Physics and you will find it as the first result and uh, it's at, as you can see the URL here, cabrillo.edu slash tilde dbrown slash tracker. So that's why I suggest just doing a Google search for Tracker Physics. You'll find it, download whatever version is appropriate, Windows, Mac, Linux, and install that. And then, of course, after you've installed it, you run the software. <clears throat> I've already loaded a photo here. You can do that just using the open button here. Just load up a photo. Uh, in the case of uh, Enable, we ask for a series of photos like what you're seeing here, top-down perspective, including a ruler or something like that in the picture. And the reason for that is so that we can do what we're about to. So now that we have a photo loaded, we are going to use the track uh, menu, select new, calibration tools, and we need a calibration stick. And what that's going to do is it's going to drop that little stick there in the middle, which you can click right under, underneath the number. If you click on the number, that's going to let you edit the, the value, which we'll get to. But if you just move down a little bit on the line itself, in the middle, you can move it around. If you click it at the ends, it's going to allow you to drag each end individually around. And so that's what we want to do is we want to line up this bar with our one of these rulers down here. And I'm going to go ahead and make it 100 millimeters long. Now I'm just doing it approximately. You want to zoom in so that you can get a better look at this and get it nice and exact. So we'll go ahead and, oh, that one's pretty much right on the zero line. This one over here, oh, got it pretty well. So now I'm just going to click on this number, and I'm going to say that is 100. That's 100 millimeters. And I have just told the software that uh, the scale is set according to that line right there. That is 100 millimeters. Now, let's move up here to this partial hand. Uh, you can do this from the track menu again, or you can just right click and you have the track menu here as well. New. And this time we're going to go to measuring tools, tape measure. And now we can, it, what it does unfortunately is it kind of drops it in the middle of the page way down here. So you can see this better if I zoom back out. When you create a new one, it puts it here in the middle and you, then you have to kind of drag it over to where you want it. So now let's move back up there to the hand. And uh, we'll just go ahead and I'm just going to do this very roughly for the moment for demonstration purposes. Move those lines into place, zooming in as you need to so that you can get the, the width. And as you're dragging the line, notice it's telling you the measurement right there, 62.14 millimeters. And it knows that because of that calibration line that we put in there. We basically told the software this is, this is how much 100 millimeters is. And so now it knows uh, relative to that how long these other lines are. And so now I can go track new, measuring tools, tape measure, and we can go grab that, do another line for the horizontal, uh, or sorry, for the length of the hand. And uh, again, I'm just gonna do this very uh, approximately for the moment. In this case, I'd, I'd go out probably to the uh, longest of these uh, residual fingers and somewhere in that 81, 82 millimeter. And you can sort of explore the regions here and sort of get a feel of what different measurements are. So once you've gotten your measurements and you can make as many of those as needed, 
You might want to think about using the new web application that Enable has developed, if you haven't seen it already. So the new web app is available at this URL here, webapp.enable.me, with the hyphen, as you can see here. And uh, at, it might not look quite the same because it's constantly being worked on, but basically you can put in each of these measurements uh, corresponding to the highlighted lines there in the photos, and you can capture those measurements directly, or you can use the method I just showed you to capture them from uh, software and enter those into this uh, web app for both the left and the right arm, because we do use measurements from both in order to generate the files. And then over on the right side, select what you want to make, and this will actually generate the STL files of exactly the right size for you based upon those measurements. So I uh, hope that helps, and uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks. Mm -hmm.